All right, this seminar, Seminar B, is on the Homestead Act. Homestead Act was signed into law by President Abraham Lincoln on May 20th, 1862. And what it does is it encourages people to settle in the West. What happens is you're granted 160 acres of land. Uh, in exchange, you had to pay a small filing fee, which was pretty minor. Uh, and you, had, you were required to stay on the land for five years continuously. I mean, you could leave for like a weekend and stuff, but you had to stay there you know, for five years. And then you would be granted ownership of the land. Some of the times that included also making improvements, which generally meant like you had to build a house or some kind of structure. Now, so why do they do this? Okay, They want to settle people moving out west. They want to, by having people out there in the west, it's ours. You're not going to have a different country come along and try to claim it. Uh, and the other part is, by having white settlers out there, it is now taken from the Native Americans. So this was signed by Lincoln. Anybody older than 21 was eligible to participate as long as they had never taken up arms against the United States. So this is kind of a dig on the Confederacy uh, because the Civil War is actually going on in 1862. So who took advantage? Freedmen, people who were formerly slaves who are now free. They don't want to stay in the South necessarily. They don't have any money, wealth, or land. So they're going to take their shot going west where hopefully there's more uh, freedom and understanding. Women took part in the Homestead Act, and anyone who met the requirements, you have a fair number of um, single soldiers after the war who decided, I'm going to go out west, I'm going to give it a shot. And this is any federally owned lands in the west. You're going to get handbills like this that would be passed around. This is for Iowa and Nebraska lands. Um, and they would tout that it's just a, a garden of Eden and anything would grow in abundance because they want people to show up. They want to make money off of this. Here is a famous type of first house often built by homesteaders. This is a sadi. This is made out of actual sod. What you do is you cut the grass because the, the roots were so thick and so tight you could actually cut the grass into bricks and build your house. And as you see, it's, it's growing, and they have stove pipes and furnaces and door and a window. Um, and sometimes people would live in these for quite a few years. Uh, but a lot of times it was pretty temporary, and you did this for maybe a year or two until you got your first or second crop in, and you got enough money that you could build a normal you know, wooden or stick structure house. Um, one of my favorite stories on this is, you know, obviously it's dirty, uh, but they said the worst is when uh, winter would hit and it would be cold um, is what would happen is the bugs live in the walls or if it would rain it would also cause this to happen the colder the rain would cause the bugs to come out of the walls into the home because they wanted to be where it was warm and dry and this one mother's story was anytime the kids would go to bed she would cover the children in newspaper you know they had their blankets and stuff but newspaper on top because what would happen is when the bugs would come out of the ceiling and wall and fall on the children She'd hear it hit and crinkle the newspaper, and then that told her there's a bug on the kids, and she'd get up and take care of it. So uh, obviously not something some people might want to wanna do. Before I get to the, the – there's actually two different videos. This one is about homesteaders and people living out west, and this one is just more info on the Homestead Act, so if you want to get more info in general. Some of your extends options are Abraham Lincoln, the Freedmen's Bureau, which helped – uh, newly freed African Americans, Saudis obviously, and the Transcontinental Railroad really liked the Homestead Act because railroads could make a lot of money out of all these new settlers. So, go into this video. Here we go. We had a motley array of neighbors. On one side, a German who could scarce speak English, married to a Bohemian speak little English and no German. On another side, a family of Swedes fresh from the old country. On an adjoining farm, a Scotsman with a Missouri wife. Nearby, a family from Iowa, another family from Illinois. Some old, some young, some illiterate, some well-educated, yet all engaged in the same enterprise. All right, so that little clip really just shows you that People from all walks of life 
are taking advantage of the Homestead Act. So this is from the Ken Burns documentary called The West, which just is hours and hours long, but is nothing about is everything uh, about the West, and it's really really informative and really good. And if we had you know a month to learn about the West, I would show it to you, but we don't have that time. Anyway, really good video, and that's the seminar on the Homestead Act.